We are joined now by members of the Texas A&M Commerce University Women's Basketball Program. In the center of our podium is the head coach, Jason Burton. To coach's right, my near side, we have Alexis Bryant. Alexis is a senior forward from Pflugerville, Texas. On coach's left, the far side of the podium, we have Ajong Tok. Ajong is a junior forward from Garland, Texas. And coach, let's open with you your uh, initial thoughts on a game that for 35 minutes looked to be in hand and then Eastern started to do like they did the other night against Tarleton, put a comeback up, but uh, your team withstood the challenge. Yeah, well, Eastern's a really good team. Proc's a great coach, uh, former coach of the year in the conference, and we knew it was going to be a battle. Every time we play Eastern New Mexico, it's a battle, but that's, and that's an NCAA tournament team right there. Um, but we also shot ourselves in the foot. You know, you can't go in a game, especially in the conference tournament, and miss 17 free throws and expect to win. But luckily, we, we built ourselves enough of a cushion early on. I thought our defense was outstanding. Um, but we got we to gotta be better at the free throw line for sure. You mentioned your defense. You hold uh, Eastern to just 27% from the field. Yeah, I thought that um, I thought our team just bought into the game plan, and they, they executed it to a T. Um, you know, a player like Cox is going to score the ball, but – you want to force her to have tough shots every time she shoots it. You want to wear her out, and I thought we did a good job of doing that. I thought that was probably the best post defense that we've played. Uh, we changed up a couple of things defensively as far as guarding the post, and I thought they really sold out to doing that. Um, but just the, the second chance shots early on hurt us, and I thought um, uh, this, they forced us into some turnovers, and that's, that, that's an area that normally we're, we're better than that, and uh, we'll have to clean it up tomorrow. You mentioned your post defense. You've got two young ladies here that uh, played into that. Talk a little bit about them and their performance. I think if if they had a, a LSC most improved player, it'd be laid to my to my left. Jean Tack has been um, just great defensively this year. Her length, her athleticism, and her speed it allows her to just cover so much ground. Um, and she was a huge spark when she came in the game. It was that third quarter and and really just. <coughs> helped us to go on a run, and, and she's been doing that all, all year long. And then Alexis Bryant has been holding down the paint for us um, this entire year. Her, her just rotations on defense, her ability to keep bigs high, to be undersized, going against a lot of the bigs that we go against in this conference, she always holds her own. I thought she was outstanding offensively and defensively today. And then Juliana Lewis, too, who's um, not in here, but just her rotations, too, her rebounding, I thought our bigs did an outstanding job today. Zhang, we'll start with you. Uh, 11 points, 8 rebounds, 2 steals, and 2 blocks coming off the bench. Talk a little bit about what you bring to the team in your role. Um, I would say just like, I mean, my, my main focus and like my mindset is just to do whatever it takes to win the game, whether it's like get rebounds, get stops, steals, blocks, or just score. Alexis, uh, you pretty solid <laughs> game yourself. 10 points, 8 rebounds. You also had one assist and, and three block st shots. Talk a little bit about the play inside today because Eastern's got some pretty good bigs. Yeah, um, so the main goal was to try to go at them to get them in foul trouble, which we did. Also, try to keep them off the board. So I think we had a pretty good game plan. Jason, before we throw it to the floor for questions, the, the one number you, you talked about missing the free throws, but 21 turnovers as well. 21 turnovers, we gave up 22 offensive rebounds. Normally, that's the reverse. Normally, we're forcing that, those many turn, that many turnovers, and normally, we're, we're crashing the boards. And so, um, just a little uncharacteristic of us, I thought early on, though, in the first half, this, we were efficient offensively. So, there were, there were less offensive boards to go after. But, um, you know, we have, definitely have to do a better job of blocking out. Normally, that's been a strong suit for us. It's a little uncharacteristic. And, and the free throw line, too. So, despite, you know, some of those numbers being out of whack, I thought our energy, our effort, um, just our want, our desire to win the game was there today for 40 minutes. Questions for the Lions right here. Uh, Coach, you never trailed in the ball game. Uh, was there any point, any portion of the game, any sequence of plays where you felt like exemplified where your team stood out today? Throughout the game. I think we opened the game up and, man, they came out on a mission to get stops. And we held them to 20 points in the first half. And, and I thought that that focus was, was really there. And I think that there were some times in the second half we were a little probably discouraged just because of <laughs> we weren't making free throws. And, and, um, but I thought just throughout the game, for the most part, we were feeding off of our defense. We were feeding off of the energy. I thought our, our bench energy, our energy on the floor was outstanding. And um, that's, that's been our team all year, though. They, exactly what Zhang said is that they don't care you know, who gets the glory, who, 
who was the player of the game, so to speak. They just want to make winning plays. And we have a team full of players that's bought into making winning plays. And it's been so fun to coach this team because they're the most unselfish team I've ever coached. Coach, you've been talking about the depth of this team since literally day one, and that came in big today. Talk about the big difference it makes in the playoffs and especially today to have depth like you do. I think that's where we really won games this year um, is that a lot of people, um, almost every game, especially in this conference you play, they're going to be good one through seven, and I mean high-quality players. But I feel like when you go to eight, nine, and ten, that's been a difference in and us, I feel like that's the difference in Lubbock Christian in a lot of games is that when people get in foul trouble or when people get tired, you can you can go to the bench and there's no drop off. And I feel like we've had depth at all at every position. Um, Desiree Devine didn't play a whole lot, but she played some valuable minutes for us today, just being a bigger post, being bringing that physicality. Um, but everybody that touched the floor today, I thought I thought was really good. And and, and it's tough to to play as many people as we played and not have slippage. And that's just been a key to our success all year is that we've had everybody been bought into to every game, to um, being in tune for 40 minutes. And it's, it's tough to do, for, but to be 28 and 2 right now in a year, uh, I couldn't be more proud of these girls, young ladies. You're advancing to the championship round. Early thoughts, Coach, on uh, tomorrow's matchup. Man, what a – it's going to be a good matchup. You know, we, we played them um, at our place earlier in the year and found a way to win. We were up 17 at halftime, but, you know, a team like – like Lubbock Christian, they're going to make a run. And, and they've been shooting lights out right now in this tournament. I mean, they were – I looked up in the third quarter versus West Texas, and they're shooting 60% from three. Um, we're going to have to really get out and guard. Um, we're going to have to definitely make free throws. Uh, but it's going, to be a, it's going to be a battle, and it's going to be fun. I look forward to it. You know, it's, it's, this is a really good conference. I thought West Texas played really well today. And they have, you know, three teams in this league that have 25 wins. I think it's outstanding, and it's going to be, it's going to be fun. So I'm looking forward to it. I know our young ladies are looking forward to it, and and uh, you know, we got a quick turnaround. So actually, got one more one more question, oh. Coach. Uh, you tied the program record today with 28 wins. Uh, talk about uh, the excitement level of that, and then quick question for uh, the two players. Talk about the excitement of playing in the LSC championship game tomorrow. Uh, one, I, you know, Denny Downing's been supporting this this team all year, and he's been here. He's here today, and. Um, you know, I know what he's done for this program and, and the impact that he's had in, in Lions women's basketball. And so to be able to um, get to 28 wins with only two losses at this point in the season and have, and have a lot of room to still go, um, I'm just proud of this group. It's, it's, a, it's such a special group. It's such a fun team to coach. And um, they're just as good off the floor as they are on the floor. These are some incredible young ladies. Um, they make me proud every day. So uh, that's that's the best thing about this this team and, and this record is is the people I get to do it with every day. But y'all, he asked y'all, okay. why are y'all excited? <clears throat> oh, yeah. I'm excited because we worked so hard all season. So tomorrow is a big game for us, but we have been a, a business to take care of. So I'm super excited about doing that. Um, I'm excited because this is our first time playing in the championship game. So I just feel like it's like for all the freshmen, just everybody. It's everybody's first time, and it's like it's something that we haven't experienced. So, yeah. Well, congratulations, and best of luck tomorrow in the championship. Thank you.